Hello and welcome to ILTV's TV's Evening Update. I'm Denise Wood here with the latest news from Israel. The Palestinian Research Institute has conducted a new study asking how Palestinians feel about the wave of terror, and it found some surprising results. The study found that 55.9% of Palestinians support the Intifada, and 41% oppose it. The study questioned 1,200 Palestinians over the age of 18, and found that 69% still support a two-state solution, and 24.8% want a single state with full equality. Palestinians also trust Hamas a lot less than in the past, with only 16.5% saying they have confidence in the group, as opposed to 22% last year. The most surprising result? 54% of West Bank Palestinians oppose stabbing attacks, while 79% of Gazans support them. High-tech salaries in Israel rose sharply in 2015, and it's become the best-paid sector in the economy. The finance ministry's chief economist, Yoel Nave, says high-tech salaries in IT and communications rose by 6%, and the average monthly salary has reached $4,600. Hitech has now passed electricity and water as the best paid sector in the economy. Salaries throughout the Israeli economy rose by 3%, and the average monthly wage is now about $2,500. The jump in private sector wages was the largest since 2001, and Neve says the salary increase in high tech resulted from a shortage of trained labor, compared to the high number of jobs available. Iran's foreign minister, Mohammad Javad Zarif, is defending the nation's right to conduct missile tests. Zarif says Iran has the right to defend itself and claims testing ballistic missiles is totally acceptable in preparing for defense measures. You might be surprised to hear he's actually blaming U.S. President Obama and Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu for all the recent escalation, and says the U.S. and Israel are constantly threatening to use force against Iran. Zarif hasn't said anything about the Hebrew messages inscribed on the missiles which read, Israel must be wiped out. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry says the wave of violence in Israel is hindering the peace process, and a lot of people think it makes peace impossible at the moment. Kerry's comments come in light of a French proposal to renew peace efforts between Israel and the Palestinians. France has proposed an international conference this summer to restart peace talks, and says the peace process should be an international effort. Kerry has also said the talks need to be a group effort, which may signal a change in U.S. policy, which has traditionally been to support bilateral talks between Israel and the Palestinians. That's all for now. Stay tuned on ILTV.tv for our main daily broadcast playing after this. I'm Denise Wood, and see you tomorrow with our morning briefing from Israel at 8 a.m. Eastern Time.